Imagine a spacecraft flying so close to the sun that it touches the very edge of our star where temperatures soar over 1,377 degrees Celsius, and yet, it survives. Hey friends! Today, I'm diving into NASA's Parker Solar Probe, the fastest human-made object ever built on a mission to unveil secrets of the sun that could shape the future of Earth and space exploration. Why does understanding the sun matter so much? The sun controls everything on Earth, our weather and climate satellite and GPS systems, power grids, even radio communications. A single solar storm can knock out satellites, disrupt power on Earth and cost billions. And yet we still know surprisingly little about how the sun's outer atmosphere behaves. The Parker Solar Probe is changing all of that. Launched on August 12, 2018 from Cape Canaveral, Florida, the Parker Solar Probe is named after Dr. Eugene Parker who theorized the solar wind. Its goals? touch the sun's corona study solar wind generation and acceleration understand magnetic fields and plasma waves and help us predict solar storms and coronal mass ejections cmes how close and fast does it go the parker solar probe travels up to 700,000 kilometers per hour that's 430,000 miles per hour imagine zipping from new york to tokyo in under a minute over seven years it's making 24 close approaches to the sun getting just 6.1 million kilometers away, seven times closer than any spacecraft before. So, how does it survive the sun's extreme heat? When it's closest the temperature outside hits 1,377 degrees Celsius, but inside, the instruments stay a comfy 30 degrees Celsius, and 114 centimeter thick carbon composite heat shield called the thermal protection system reflects and absorbs the heat. White ceramic paint helps with sunlight reflection, and the probe always keeps its shield facing the sun adjusting automatically as it moves. So far Parker has made some groundbreaking discoveries. It's found switchbacks in the solar wind sudden flips in magnetic direction, measured how particles accelerate in the corona-detected dust-free zones near the sun, and observed why the corona is so much hotter than the sun's surface. It's even shown how solar wind streams behave differently close to the sun than they do near Earth. These insights help us predict solar storms and space weather more accurately than ever before. Why does all this matter for Earth? Solar storms can disrupt GPS, knock out communications, fry power grids, and even endanger astronauts. By studying the sun's magnetic fields and solar wind, Parker is helping us prep for and protect against these threats, keeping our tech and our infrastructure safe. The mission will go on until at least 2025, with each flyby getting even closer delivering data we could never have dreamed of. And it's laying the groundwork for future missions to the Moon and Mars, helping us understand radiation risks for astronauts. Here are a few fun facts. Parker is the first NASA spacecraft named after a living person. It can circle Earth 17 times in one hour, and it even uses liquid cooling for its solar panels to survive the sun's heat. If you found this journey as fascinating as I do, subscribe for more space exploration like this video and share it with fellow space fans. Would you travel near the sun if you could? Drop your answer in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.